What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and today is Friday. The best product that I can think of releases today, the Trainers Toolkits and we do not have them yet. Um, my pre-order should arrive tomorrow so hopefully we can get into some of those real soon. Instead we got good old faithful Hidden Fates 2 tins. Let's start with a quick mail day. So uh, I basically don't buy cards off Instagram unless it's someone that I actually know pretty well and really trust. Uh, and there's only really one seller I've ever bought from and that is Andy and Sons uh, Poke DCG. Uh, shout out to them and I recommend you check out their Instagram. They don't post too many claim sales. Uh, in fact, like I think right now it's like their PSA submissions and like, oh my gosh, their Charizard collection is insane. I'm pretty happy with my Charizard collection, but that one's on a different level. Uh, we picked up some anytime it's like vintage Watsy base set fossil jungle and for like single digit dollars for like light play um i will take those all day so thank you andy uh for these cards and he actually tossed in he upgraded our shipping and tossed in a few extras we got some cool black star promos mew from the movie uh speaking of movies uh we got a detective pikachu card a flare jamming net dark right and a noivern break so that's our quick mail day. Thank you so much, Andy. And I'll put a link in there or provide a link to their Instagram. Recommend you check it out. All right, let's get into these tins. And actually, let's talk about some new products while we open them. So yeah, the if you haven't picked up a trainer's toolkit, I definitely recommend you do. If you have any interest in playing competitively, uh, I think this is a must-have product. In fact, like probably like the best one to punch is would be those league the league battle deck featuring the Picaram with the four Jirachis and then you pick up a toolkit and I feel like you're 85% of the way to having a top tier list. Um, so, and I believe you can still pick them up for, from gamers for like 23. I think there's some other vendors that have them definitely well under 30, which should be the MSRP. But uh, yeah, such a good product. Double Dedene and uh, double boss, which is, that's how I'm gonna get my boss's orders through a pre-con product which is pretty crazy and we also got some new stuff actually gamers just listed there uh let's see they got the new v tins featuring pikachu eevee and eternatus v pretty cool but um you know those are not too crazy uh i think i think i'll just probably pick up one of each i think you can get them for like 55 for all three which isn't too bad i think the msrp for 25 and then the probably the in my opinion the much better one is the Eternatus box. I think it's six packs plus you get a Eternatus V and V Max. So all those people that want to jump on that hype train, you can do it at a very affordable rate. And then I'm on the side of I'm not sure that that card's gonna pan out. So you can get on for cheap and then get get off maybe if that list doesn't really pan out at least for standard. It's probably good to expand. I'm not sure. Interesting. Interested to see uh, that one. I think MSRP is for 40, but you can pick it up on Game Nerds for 30 right now. It's, uh, it's you got a few months. I think it comes out in September. But uh, either way, definitely recommend you check those out. And let's get into our first pack. And if you actually use the links down below, you do support the I Want a Turtle channel. So if you do, thanks so much. What am I doing here? All right. Here we go. First pack of Hidden Fates. Yes, we will have some toolkit openings real soon. As early as tomorrow, we have a couple of patrons that did order some boxes. So, should be pretty exciting. Alright, first pack was a dud. We have eight shots here. You know, like, the tins, they're still really good. Hidden Fate's still really fun to open. The polls have been... Actually, no, lately the polls have been, I feel like they've been getting better, but definitely have not seen any of the home run hits. We did pull a gold Lele, though, recently. Boy, do I miss finding that shiny Charizard. Oh, I think someone told me, like, on eBay they're going for, like, 2000 or something. That's, that boggles my mind. We, we need to do another Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that is the Pokemon just primarily just covers that shiny Charizard. Oh my! We have one pack of one of one of the worst tins. All right, let's recover. That was very a very poor start. Can we at least get one hit? You know, we talk about quota a lot for these 
Hidden Fates tens, and if we pull just a full donut on this ten, that would be very bad. Charmander, a golem. Okay, we did not get completely shut out, but uh, not too far away from that. Rock Ruff, he is very cute. Not exactly one that chases as far as non shiny GXs. Alright, that was rough. Um, this opening is in jeopardy of not hitting our quota. We're gonna need to. We're gonna need a strong start here. We need a double hit right here. Alright, here we go. Magmar, coughing, Cubone. Oh, the other thing I want to talk about is the Players' Cup. So, I actually originally wasn't planning on trying to qualify. Alright, we got another shiny. Shiny Froki. This is one of the ones I do uh, enjoy pulling. Not a little off-center, but he is always cute. But we started running some tournaments during our Twitch streams, and, you know, we got kind of into it. And then it's like, oh, actually, we're not too far away from qualifying. You just need to get to top 256. And, um, so then, shout out to Panzerd on Twitch. Let us know that, actually, the... The qualifying period might have ended today at, for me, 2, p 2 p.m., which is kind of confusing because their website says they're going to be updating the, the rankings on the 29th as well. But if it did already end, I think we do have a pretty good shot. Three hours before 2 p.m., so around 11, they did post it, and I was at 211 spots. Uh, basically, I had to grind a bunch, uh, use like, I don't know, probably like eight, did like 10 tournaments over last uh between last night and this before they ended it all right we did get a shiny gx we got electrode very nice uh looks pretty off center if you kind of compare this to this 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 side to this one uh but hey that's a pretty cool pull with that extra energy bomb ability you grab let's see you can grab a perfect fit for you We will take it, and uh, so, okay, so for this opening, we're hoping to get four hits across all the packs, and we're at three, so luckily we had that second tin. Uh, if we just did the one, that would have been a pretty poor opening. All right, shiny GX in the bag. Let's get one more good hit. So I'm not sure when we'll find out, but maybe we will We will be participating in the uh, Players Cup qualifier. Kind of a, you know, I feel like a lot of the criticism against the, the way they set it up, it's all pretty fair. It's very, very strange. But all right, here we go, last pack. Okay, let's finish this opening on a strong note. Got a Farfetch'd, Jinx, Misty, Coughing, Voltorb, Cubone, Geodude, a Gyarados, uh, as far as like hits, that's like, <laughs> alright, we'll take it, oh, just a Snorlax, um, so I guess we got our four hits, um, yeah, I'm happy about the Electrode, a little underwhelming, but, you know, we got some exciting products to come. Hopefully we open some of those toolkits tomorrow. And yes, if you haven't picked yours up yet, uh, and you there, there's a small chance you might be interested in learning to play competitive, go to League, go to League Challenges, definitely pick one up. I think it's the best product that, um, that I can think of as far as, uh, you know, promo boxes with promos and stuff like that so that's gonna be it for today as always thanks for watching thanks for all the support on the channel like comment and subscribe all down below i'm one turtle and i'll catch you guys next time not sure if this is correct but i feel like at least forces I think this has to be on your bench. I'm just gonna leave this here. I'm just gonna leave this here. <laughs>